Hey guys, welcome back to RC Brucey. Today we're starting a new series here. I figured since uh, I end up liking to break my RC cars, it seems like. When, like, say I like, but it seems like I always end up breaking my RC cars. I thought I'd start a series on on the bench. Is, uh, when I break them, I'm going to show you guys how to fix them. Today, as you can see here, we got the X-Max on the table. And uh, if you go to my channel and you uh, look back there, I got a video up uh, bashing in the quarry there. And uh, this is the result. I uh, broke the rear uh, hub. So I thought I would uh, go through and show you guys how to do this. And uh, while we're here, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, should you mod and should you not mod. And... Uh, Personally, I think it's one of those uh, very touchy subjects and uh, situation depending. I believe you should and when you shouldn't. Uh, for this one here, I'm not going to mod it. And in case you're wondering, there's the part number for the Traxxas hub uh, carrier there. And uh, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, over the years with my experience... It seems like when I upgrade to aluminum, I just move the problem from one area to the next, to the next. Because I strengthen and save this hub. Next thing you know, I'm breaking the arm. And next thing you know, I'm not breaking the arm, but I'm snapping the housing on the diff cover there. And it just seems to travel out through the whole truck. And then next thing you know... Uh, I have an X-Max that's, I think, normally 25 pounds. Now I'm like 45 pounds because of all the freaking aluminum that I put on it. And I got tons of money into it. And uh, didn't really resolve anything. And then I got a rolling tank. And then it's heavy, and I think it, you'll lose performance. So on this situation here, um, I've had this X-Max five, six years now. This is the first time I've ever broke this rear hub carrier. So, I really don't feel that it's an area that I have to modify and put some aluminum in. Now, I'm not saying that always oh, going aluminum's wrong and the weight's wrong. I get you. Aluminum looks cool. Sometimes it does fix the problems. But from my personal opinion and my experiences, <clears throat> on something like this, I think I'm going to take the performance away. And I'm going to add more weight and it's more money. I think it was 12 bucks for two sets of these. It's it's nothing. I haven't broken any in six years, and all I've done is beat the crap out of this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, in this situation, I'm not modding. And like I said, it's always, you know, situation depending. Uh, you know, if you're going through, uh, I'm trying to think of an example right now on something that would always break, you, you know, maybe, you know, aluminum would work. But like I said, six years, I've never broke a hub carrier. I've heard other people having problems on a hub carrier. But in my experience and on my X-Max, I haven't had that problem. So anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to open up the package, make sure I got the right one. And we're doing the right rear here. So I want to get that out and be ready. Um, flat tip screwdriver, small one for a little prying. Uh, two millimeter hex bit, and I like to use the old screw gun. Uh, also what we're gonna need, you're gonna need your uh, wrench here, especially in my situation, since my wheel's off the truck. And we'll start with re removing the wheel nut. See how much of a pain in the neck this is gonna be. Oh, so we're going to start out by just removing this wheel nut here. Just leave that in there. Bam! Tire off. Next, I'll bring this in close for you guys. But there's a little clip right here. I know this video for some of you, and may, probably most of you, it's probably elementary. There's a clip you want to pull off right there. But uh, not everybody out there is a mechanic or knows how to wrench on their RCs. So 
I figured I'd do this video and I hope it helps somebody out. Sometimes you got to get back there and you're going to want to pry and take this nut off here. And then should be able to just push that right through and this whole assembly will come right out for you. Next we're going to want to push these bearings out. Top, bottom, you know, be careful guys, you don't send the screwdriver into your hand, and uh, probably not a bad idea, of course, I didn't bring one with me, figures, no matter how hard I plan to make a video, I always forget something. But probably a rag to wipe these bearings off. And there is a front and a back. Smaller one is the front. So we're going to push that in right there. And you can just push it right back in. And we're going to do the same thing on the rear one here. You're going to push that one right in so it sits right back into the housing there. Take the axle, push that back in there. The other thing you sh should have done, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments, is I probably should have checked to make sure the bearings were on. But I know this wheel's good. I haven't had any problems. Uh, other things I've seen out there too that uh, the X Max Traxxas has bearing problems. Mine squeal a little bit, make a little noise, but I've had zero issues with any of my bearings. Push the uh, wheel key back on there. We're going to push the spring right back on. Be careful, it doesn't go flying. You just want to clip it right back down and in there, right back and on the axle there, or the little... Uh, stud there where the wheel nut goes so hubs all done <coughs> excuse me I'm just getting over bronchitis I've been fighting it all week so I apologize for all my coughing but next two millimeter little nut here little screw that keeps the pin on there there's two of them an upper and a lower move the camera in a little bit closer for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here but as you see you got the old broken hub pieces still here what I usually do once that screw was out you always push from the opposite side and I always push a little bit and push a little bit they pop out sometimes a longer Allen uh, key or wrench will push it out all the way I always like to keep track of where what goes where so top bottom looks like these are both the same size take your axle and hub assembly and make sure it's into the diff there and we'll go with that bottom one first wipe these off push it back in voila you pull the upper A arm down, line everything back up, push it right in. You saw I did it with my hands. Okay, sometimes I found myself I'm banging away, banging away, banging away. If it's fighting you that hard, something's wrong. The pin is bent, or you're just not lined up. Don't kill yourself trying to get it. It ain't gonna work. Just sit back for a minute, take a breather, look at it. Something's not right. Like I said, bent. Or something's not lined up. 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm rushing and I ain't paying attention. That's what the problem is. So once you got that all back in, 
Put your, your keepers back in so your pins don't come out on you. I use the gun there, but as you can see, they go right back in. You get them nice and snug. Put the bottom one back in. Voila. X Max is ready to go. Anyway, for you out there that don't know how this is done or are scared to uh, tackle it, you just saw it. Within 10 minutes, half of it, me just talking away, jabbing my mouth. Five minutes, got it in. So it's not really that bad, so don't be overwhelmed by it. For you guys that are out there that are experiencing going, oh my God, oh, it's just a hub, I don't want to do that. Well, not everybody knows everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys like to talk about mod when not to mod. I'm sure everyone has a lot of opinions out there, and that's just my opinion. In a case like this, for a few bucks, six years, beating the hell out of it. Why am I going to pay twice to three times the price for a part that uh, hasn't given me any problems, guy, and add weight? I like to keep my money for other RC things like filling my shelves with more. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Guys, in the comments, let me know what you think. Let me know if this helped you or if it didn't. Or you just want to bust my you-know-what just because I made a video. Anyway... Thanks for watching RC Brucey, and I'll see you guys out there. Keep bashing and happy trails, everybody. Thanks for watching once again.